What's up, Ravens fans? It's time to hear from you guys in our Ravens mailbag segment. Ryan, all three of these questions today came from Twitter, so let's jump right into them as there's lots to talk about right now with the first preseason game coming up on Thursday. This first question comes to us from Matt Sports Talk, and the question is, who is taking charge as the number one wide receiver so far? I'm shocked they have a wide receiver question. <laughs> yeah, first time we ever have. <laughs> the number one wide receiver is, without a doubt, Mike Wallace. You know, Steve Smith departed, and we all knew Mike, you know, liked to talk a lot, and was kind of a leader. He's kind of overshadowed by Steve Smith because he has such a huge personality. Now with Steve gone, we really get to see a lot more of that from Mike. You know, he's a, he's a great leader. I think one thing that people forget about Mike Wallace or maybe don't know is how hard this guy works. I mean, he's always kind of had this reputation as a, a bit of a diva wide receiver, I think, coming from Minnesota and, and from Miami and, Pittsburgh, of course, Pittsburgh. Right, you right, get a bad reputation around here from course. that. But Mike Wallace is a worker. I mean, this guy does not miss practice. He's always on the jugs machine between drills, after practice on the jugs machine. This guy does not miss any snaps, and it's really been interesting to watch him kind of take the lead. And I think from on-field production, he's also going to be the team's leading wide receiver. I think he'll have more receptions. He was the team's yeah. yardage leader last year, just over 1,000 yards. I think he'll do that again this year in leading team yards and catch. And our next question comes from Reese McSpadden, and the question is, is this the best group of undrafted free agents the Ravens have ever had? Well, everyone's all aboard that undrafted free agent hype train yeah, right now. Everybody's excited about guys like Tim White and Quincy Adeboyjo, and I like this. I like this question. I'm not going to go there quite yet, though. Here's the thing. At this time of the year, before we even played a preseason game, everyone starts getting excited. Yeah. Uh, like I said, the, everyone starts drinking the purple, purple Kool-Aid, and this guy's standing out, and this receiver looks great. And But what we need to see is these guys get out there on the field. There's We could go through every single training camp and talk about guys that we've all been excited about. Oh, this is a guy early on that's getting all the buzz. But how does Tim White do in a game? How does Adavoy Joe do in a game? How does somebody like Patrick Ricard, the defensive lineman, do when he's going up against NFL talent offensive linemen and there's full contact drills? Those are the things I want to see. Now, with that said, the one thing I will add is that the volume seems to be there. We're not just talking about one guy. It's not like all of our focus is on one guy. There's three or four guys that everyone seems to be excited about. Jalen Hill, cornerback. Yeah. So, like, there's all these different guys that I think that the volume is there to have one of the best undrafted free agent classes if they perform in the preseason. Yeah. There's going to be a gen that comes out of that, just like Michael Pierce was a year yeah. ago. There's going to be somebody out of this group, I think, that's going to really stand out. Our last question comes from Oglefro, and the question is, how is the preseason battle at fullback going? Who is looking better catching passes, and who's blocking better? Well, this goes back to that undrafted free agent thing. I mean, this is Ricky Ortiz, an undrafted fullback at Oregon State. He's one of those guys that's also in that mix. So. Yeah, exactly. So he's battling with Lorenzo Taliaferro for the starting fullback job. Right now, I, I know we're just you know, hyping the undrafted <laughs> rookies, but I got to say, I think Lorenzo Taliaferro is probably a little bit ahead. Tally Fair is a guy who's been here for several years. He knows what the Ravens are doing on special teams. You know, he, he can be a pretty solid special teams player. And he's a guy that I think they want to give the ball to occasionally. He can perform multiple roles, not just be a blocking fullback. He can carry the ball occasionally. He can catch it a little bit. So I think Tally Farrow is right now ahead of Ricky Ortiz. But with that said, both I think have stood out as blockers. There's been occasions when I've said, whoo! Ricky Ortiz just popped that guy. I mean, that was some solid hit right there. Same thing with Lorenzo. He's a big-bodied, physical guy. Uh, so, and I, th I think catching the passes, probably Lorenzo is looking a little bit better, a little smoother catching the ball right now than Ricky Ortiz. Uh, but it's close. You know, I, I think that's going to be a pretty good battle. Right now, the vet has the lead. All right, so that's another battle to watch in the preseason game coming up on Thursday. And this is a reminder, if you guys want to watch that game, if you're not going to be there at the stadium, then tune into WBAL, Jerry Sandusky, and Brian Billick are going to yeah. be on the call. So it's definitely something that you're going to enjoy hearing from Coach Billick. So that does it for this week's mailbag. But as always, we love to hear from you guys. So send in those questions every single week. Thanks for watching and have a great rest of your day.